Lions TV post match analysis where it finished Millwall 1, Stoke City 0. What do you reckon, Com? Um, I don't think it was the greatest performance. First half we looked uh, quite convincing. Second half they switched it up, they went to a 4 3 3. They went quite attacking and they was knocking on the door a, for. Made a lot of subs at half time. Yeah, made four they? subs. They made four subs at half time and they was knocking on the door for the majority of the second half. Then we switched up to 4 3 3. Um, and Maku came on, I think he was, he was one of the only dangerous players in, in a 4 3 3 formation. But um, I think was lucky to get away with all three points, but happy at the end of the day. It's a 1 0 victory, a clean sheet for the keeper. Uh, and yeah, three points to the Lions. It's always nice against a former club as well. Yeah, can't complain. Um, I looked at that starting lineup and I thought, you know, I like that. I like the way we set up today. We had a uh, Nisbet and Bradshaw up top together. I think they linked up really well. I think um, the man that signed that new long-term contract yesterday, he was man of the match for me, Jake yeah, Cooper. 100%. Between him and uh, Joe Bryan, again, Bryan quality. I've said it every game. Well, yeah. Bar maybe the Norwich game, um, but yeah, I think I think it was a. I think the midfield done well today. Um, I honestly think we did deserve. I know we sort of rode our luck a bit in the second half, and how we kept some of them chances out, I do not know. But um, I wouldn't say we we didn't deserve it. Some people might say a draw, but I think just yeah. on first half performance alone, I think um, yeah. We deserved it. Well thought out win. Yeah, I think echoing what Joe just said, I think he went with a very strong starting eleven. Uh, that would have been starting eleven most of us would have chosen. I think Norton Cuffey looked very impressive. Yeah, he, he, was, he was brilliant. He dangerous to be fair. going forward, and he gave us that extra bit of dynamic going forward. And yeah, listen, there's not really much I can comment on about the overall performance because but I think that was, that was a real good response from Sunday in all fairness yeah. um, sort of brought everyone together again players coming over at the end and yeah it was just a much listen I know like we, we did maybe ride our luck but I think it's just m much more brought a feel good factor back again um, that we very much needed so it was great to see Nisbet get off the mark I think he'll go on to Scored many goals for us now this season. And I think going forward, you've got to play the two up top. You've got to play Nisbet and Bradshaw. Yeah, I, I like the set up today. Go for two up top uh, no another thing, it felt like there was a bit more fight and energy today that we really, really were lacking. Um, but yeah, more than pleased. Yeah, Can't I complain think, too much. I think after, um, I think Rowett done the right thing since last Sunday. He's... he's Great signing in that Norton Cuffey. Well, he looks like a great signing thus far. Um, Cooper signed a new long-term deal. I think that's great. And yeah, echoing what Joe said again. With a man, follow up with a man of the match display today. Yeah, so chuffed over the moon with the three the, points. The heavens opened during the game, but as soon as we come out with those three points, the sun's back shining. Happy days. All feeling good, positive. Got Bank holiday down, weekend. Mate down for from Newcastle for the there weekend. Witness all three appearance. points. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be back again next few home games, I think. Lucky omen. So yeah, we go on to next week now. Big game away to Birmingham against another one of Rowett's former clubs. Let's try and uh, follow it up, eh? Come on, Come you, you lions. lions.